Uh, hey guys, it's me again, Nichols, and today I'd like to I'd like to uh, show you how I paint kits. So uh, last time I I built the Bear Guy family in front of ca in front of the camera, and I mentioned that I wanted to paint some some of the parts because like not everything comes in the right colors. So yeah, since since I'm still on vacation, I thought, well, why not, right? All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is uh, mask some parts. I'm gonna use this, and then after that, we're gonna move on to priming. After the, afterwards, we're gonna paint. All right, so first, I'm gonna mask the mouth uh, because the insides are supposed, are supposed to be red, and but not everything's supposed to be red. So yeah, I'm gonna mask the parts that are not supposed to be red. So I can prime them then paint them. For this, I'm going to make use of Mr. Masking Sol R. R. It's the masking soul that pirates use. Kidding, that was a bad joke. Fuck me. Anyway, let's proceed. You just get a little bit like that. Uh, you can actually apply this using toothpick if you want, if it's just small amounts. So, yeah. Just gently dab it on like that. Uh, this will dry into a solid form. So yeah. Just dab it gently like that. By the way, this is uh, water soluble, so if you want it to be more liquefied or if you want to erase it, you can just mix it with water if you want. Or if you want to like remove it, you can just use water to wash it off because it's, it's water soluble anyway. And you know, don't brush it like that. I know it's actually bad. It's better if you just dab it, dab like that. Well, based on experience, I found that to be better, like a more effective way of applying this. And once you're done applying the solution, this is how it's gonna look like. Yeah, now it's ready for priming. So I'm I'm gonna prime the parts using Mr. Surfacer 1200. Really good stuff, and it has it has to be mixed with Mr. Color Thinner. Now the mixture is 50-50, uh, so it's like it's going to be half of that and half of that when for airbrush. Because like if you're going to hand brush it, just put a little thinner, maybe like two drops. But if you're going to airbrush, you're going to need 50-50. Now as for me, I already have a pre-mixed solution here. Uh, yeah, for yeah 50-50 and to all those who plan to use airbrush or spray using lacquer, please be sure to wear a gas mask because, because lacquer, lacquer is very toxic. So yeah, y y if you don't want to die early, yeah, use a gas mask.
So this is how everything looks like prime. Now, yeah, time to paint. All right, so now we're gonna paint the the red part, the the mouth. So we just get a little bit of thinner. So the red, the red lacquer paint. This is Mr. Color, by the way. I'm using Mr. Color. Yeah, we need more thinner. It's not not liquefied enough yet. And there. This is metallic red, by the way, but it's more of a sparkly type. So yeah, you just dab it. It's actually really, it's actually a little hard to paint in front of camera because I, I have to make sure that it's captured in the screen. That is better look good. <laughs> And yeah, we'll just wait for that to dry. All right, so uh, now we paint the the ribbon. Uh, I'm gonna paint it using using Vallejo Vallejo model color Andrea Blue. So we we just put a little bit there. This is my mixing plate, by the way. It's a little dirty, but I mean it's. If the paint's dry anyway, so <laughs> yeah. So we, we mix it a little like that. And now on to painting. So you just gently burst strokes. Shit. Uh. And when it's all done, it's gonna look like this. Yeah, it looks really nice. The color is like, it's perfect. All right, so n now that we're done hand painting, uh, let's move on to the parts to be sprayed. As you can see, I already applied masking sole here. And yeah, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> And now everything's done. We've got the nose painted, the mouth painted, the, the the back chair painted, and the hand painted. This used to be this used to be blue. This hand spare hand. Yeah, the white doesn't match yet, but I might paint it more time to see if it matches. And then the blue ribbon. So yeah, that's about it for my painting video. I hope you learned. Well, I'm not sure if what I, the techniques I use are the perfect techniques for painting, but uh, I hope that I gave you an idea in one way or another on how to paint Gunpla. So yeah, thanks for watching and see you guys on whatever next video I make.